died for us is Jesus Christ and who won, who deserves our attention. Amen. We'll come as a singer to the Lord as a joyful noise is the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Make a joyful noise and to hear with song. Go praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise him, all ye people. For his merciful kindness is great towards us. And the truth of the Lord endures forever. Praise ye the Lord. Oh, be joyful in the Lord, your lands, and serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that made us and that we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. The Lord is good, his mercy endures forever and ever. His truth endures to all generations. This is the day that the Lord has been. Let's give God praise for that. This is the day that the Lord has been. We shall rejoice. Be glad in it. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. For with him is the fountain of life, and in him shall we see life. We are here. We are here today, but I want to say right now there's one who will not be here today. There's one, come on in. That Friday night, the Lord called her home. Did not know it was going to happen, but it happened anyhow. And you need to be ready like a snap. Amen? Amen. Like a snap. Because you need to know the day nor the hour. Right, right. And so you need to praise God while you have time to praise God. Amen. You need to praise Him while you got breath in your lungs and blood running warm in your veins. Because you need to know when your day, as Mrs. Pearl Hawks, did know. Let's give God a praise for Pearl Hawks for being here when she was here. Praise the one that has left. Everyone say the fact is, she was here. In your bulletins, you have a song, two songs there, near the cross, and just as I am. You need to get close to God when somebody that you know has passed. You don't need to get away from God, you need to get close to God. Amen. So it's saying, Jesus, keep me near the cross. There's a precious fountain free.
going to be all right. No matter what they go through, with you by our side, we know it's going to be all right. Amen. 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 Bless Mark as he brings us the music. And the pastor gives us the word. Keep our minds, hearts yes. open and near so we can understand what you give it to him to give to us. Just thank you for all the things you've done in our life and yes. all the things you're going to do in our lives. There's not enough thank you to, to go around yes. because of your mercy and grace. Yes. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Next we we'll have a scripture by Jonathan.
Please see Colin Brown for the application of information. <coughs> Calendar, August 13th, Board of Christians, Board of Christians, Education and Lay Department, meeting at the service, August 26th, Saturday, a wedding ceremony for Marika Mackin and and it will be here before you know it. August 27th, church conference after service for the school department. Start paying on your conference claims uh, for 2023. 2024 conference here. 300 for adults, 50 for youth. If you'd like to make payments, please do so. Thank you to those who assist in our school, Lane College, Miles College, uh, Texas College, Payne College, and Phillips School of Theology. And once again, uh, Come one, come all to our in-person <coughs> Bible study, book of Revelation, by the teacher, our pastor, Roland Brown. The study begins uh, at 6 p.m. Any other announcements? Amen. Amen. Um, one more other thing. Uh, uh, our pastor was uh, what was it? What's the name of that church? I met Jesus. I met Jesus. He brought the message there, and I'm sure it was kind of unique to him. Um, he had an interpreter to uh, give the message in language of the French, 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 and I uh, was, it's kind of unique, it was, I know it was definitely different, <laughs> but uh, we had a nice time, and they put on um, a wonderful play, and it was, uh, it was a great, uh, great experience for me, so uh, anyway, our pastor did a great job, thank Amen. you. Amen. Let's give God the praise. That's the first time that I've ever been to a church. This is a rock where people of dark skin, all of them, most of them were speaking French. And I needed an interpreter. But every time I said, say something, they would say it in French. A whole congregation. Very interesting. But praise God. Amen. I had a chance to be in there. Uh, glad to see Ricky and Rika. Glad to see Amen. And Jimmy out there. Thank Amen. you. Man. Amen. Brother, say, uh, what time service starts? 7 o'clock. So I'll be there. 
Amen. 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 Pray for all who have had death in their family. Every Miles member here should be, but not feel hard and sorry. Feel hurt. There should be a tear somewhere. There should be a tear somewhere. If we lost a member, a trustee, a singer, a historian, one who was an encourager, mm -hmm. a young man. Yes, Anytime he gave out the, the gifts, he would go and say, I want to say something to them. Let them know. Yes. You need to know something. Mrs. Pearl Hawks. And I asked the men. If someone called you at 9.45 last and at night time and said there's a car waiting for you and one of your members has been rushed to the hospital. They told you who that member was. Would you pause? And say I wait for later. Which you go out and put my stuff on and get out there. This Friday I had that thank you, Cheryl. She called Carla. When we got that, we got there, we had, she was still coming in and coming out. It was a hard time. And Cheryl and all the family were there. I had to deal with the fact that one, Jesus said, she got to come with me. She got to come with me. And so I prayed for like a short meeting right after service to uh, get ready for things from the room not go in. But I asked you to be in, in mind with her. This is not someone that just you don't know when you've never seen her before. She's known in the community, but she's known at this church. But she saw this church when it was nothing. It was just the ground. Pray for our city shut in. Those who are in the hospital, those who are in the nursing home, those who are in private homes. Pray for the third Episcopal district. Let me ask you to pray for our teaching ministers. It's the Lord that told me to go in and start teaching and preaching in the book of Revelation. Because we live in the end times. And we will have time to play around. We got to get serious, church. I'm asking all the men that you would tell somebody, we got we got Sunday school for men. We need to get out we have a good thing on the book of Galatians. We really, really need to get that. But again, be in prayer for the family. Be in prayer for every church in this this, this should shock you. This should wake you up. This should say, quit playing with me. I love you. Quit playing. Let's pray. Father, we love you and we thank you, Lord. And that's why we got the picture of her on the outside. Thank you, Lord, for what Mrs. Pearl Hawks did in our lives. You know what she was to the she didn't have her fault, she didn't have her key, she didn't have her key, not that it was perfect, but she was one that was part of this congregation, this fellowship. And we ask you, Lord, that you put your arms around the family. And Lord, that we pray. 
draw closer to you more than going away from you. Give us guidance. Bless those who are sick and shut in. Bless the missing of Miles and Moyle. Bless the people who are unsaved, Lord, and need Jesus. The unchurched that need a church in their lives. We pray for the youth and the young adults. In the name, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Church, say amen. 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 Give God praise and glory for the answer. Why is the song?
Lord Jesus, led by the Holy Spirit, begin speaking, say, give messages from my book, the book of Revelation. In 12 months, I'm preaching, teaching, everywhere I go. And I pray that you do not be afraid and you do not slack off. All of us are evangelists to tell other people to come to this place. Whether they are visitors and members, come to this place and hear what God is saying to the churches. Amen. Now I pray that you have a hunger to know this book. To know that God is talking not only to us, but to them. Come on in. That God is talking. God is speaking and saying, I'm coming soon. Now I don't want anybody to say, I didn't think you were coming that quick. <laughs> Amen. 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 I, I, I really thought that uh, you would come out for another five years from now. <laughs> oh, I, I really thought you said, it was, it was 10 years down the line. Mm -hmm. That's what I told yesterday. <laughs> it could be today. Amen. It could be tomorrow. Right. It could be five years from now. Mm -hmm. But you need to know. You need to be ready when it comes. Amen. And not thinking it may be sometime soon. So if you open your books to the book of Revelation, Chapter 5. We went into chapter 2 last week on the Church of Ephesus and we found out the fact that we were dealing with people who were a church that did a whole lot of things but did not love Jesus nor each other. I ask you to look at your Bible. If you don't have a Bible, look on the back of your book. I think everybody has a bulletin. If you don't, raise your hand. So on the back of your bulletin, we go to chapter 5. And we look at verse 6 through 14. Now I'm reading from the New Living Translation. And you're going to notice that there's some highlights on one word. Then I saw a lamb that looked as if it had been slaughtered. But it was now standing between the throne and the four living beings and among the 24 elders. He had seven horns and seven eyes, which represents the sevenfold spirit of God that is sent out into every part of the earth. He stepped forward and took the scroll from the right hand of the one sitting on the throne. And when he took the scroll, the four living beings and the 24 elders fell down before the Lamb. Each one had a harp, and they held gold bowls filled with incense, which are the prayers of God's people. And they sang a new song with these words, Worthy are oh, you are worthy to take the scroll and break its seals and open it. For you were slaughtered, and your blood has ransomed people for God from every tribe and language and people and nation. And you have caused them to become a kingdom of priests for God, and they will reign on the earth. Then, I looked again and I heard the voices of thousands and millions of angels around the throne and the living beings and the elders. And they sang in a mighty chorus, Worthy is the Lamb who was slaughtered to receive power 
and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. And then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea, they sang blessing and honor and glory and power belongs to the one sitting on the throne and to the Lamb forever and ever. And the four living beings said, Amen. And the 24 elders fell down and worshiped the Lamb. Amen. Your Savior. Amen. From that text comes this message. The Lamb. Whose name is Jesus? The Lamb. Whose name is Jesus? We are about to have Holy Communion where we will come even here at where we can see and we will take the bread and the cup and remember of his death and his passion, the blood that washes away our sins. And we know that in 1 John 1, 7, it says that the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. I'm going to take a little peg right there and understand that this past month, up to this moment, we all have done some sin that we should never do. Grandmama said, you still got some dust on the shoulder a little bit. <laughs> and we need to confess that we need Jesus. Amen. Amen. We need to confess that, Lord, I need to take these clothes and put them in the washer and let not the bleach of Clorox, mm. but the blood of Jesus. Amen. That could wash away my sins. Yeah. Revelation 1 5, the last part says, All glory to him who loves us and freed us from all our sins by shedding his blood for us. Yeah. We must focus on the Lamb. Not just a lamb, but notice on your papers it said, the lamb that was slaughtered. Mm -hmm. The lamb, when you say the word slaughtered, it means being killed. And when the Jews who heard this message the first time, they said slaughter of a lamb, it took them back to Passover, in which they had a lamb, they had a pig out lamb and slaughtered the lamb and drained the blood, what is this? And take a hyssop branch and put the hyssop branch in the blood and then put it on the doorpost. And that when the angel of death saw the, the blood on the doorpost, it will pass over mm -hmm. that house. Amen. This is the Passover sacrifice. But not that. In the name of the Lamb. This is the Lamb that was given as a sacrifice and the blood was put on the altar. Mm. That it will cover, why is it? It will cover our sin because every single year the priest would come to the altar and he had a long, he had a robe, he had a long uh, train behind him. And that he would have that blood that was drained and he would come to the altar. And they had priests around. And the thing is that he had to be holy and he had to be righteous. Because if he came to the altar and he was no good, he could get struck dead mm -hmm. right there. Yeah. And the train the priest was able to him to pull him out 
out of the Holy of Holies, the Lamb of the Blood. And the day we know the Lamb, that word, the Lamb, is found in the book of Revelation more times about Jesus than any other word in the book of Revelation. I'm going to get right this quick, but it's 5 and 5, 6, 5, 8, 5, 12, 5, 13. It's in chapter 6, 1 and 16. It's in chapter 7, 9, 10, 14, 17. It's in chapter 12, verse 11. It's in chapter 13, verses 8 and 11. It's in chapter 14, 1 and 4, twice. And verse 10. It's in, it's in chapter 15, verse 3. It's in chapter 17, verse 14, twice. It's in chapter 19, verses 7 and 9. It's in chapter 21, 9, 14, 22, 23, and 27. It's found in the last chapter of the book of Revelation. Chapter 1, chapter 27, verse 1 and verse 3. The Lamb, the Lamb, but the Lamb, it's all powerful. Amen. That's why at that time when they talk about horns, that the horns that the Lamb had meant that he was in power. Mm. He was a powerful one. And understand, when he, the Lamb had seven eyes, that means the fact that, that he is all seen. Mm -hmm. And that the fact that, that he was able not only that he was slaughtered, but he was standing. Amen. Hallelujah. He was just, he was not, he was not dead, but he already died. Amen. But he got up. Yes. And now he walks. The lamb, the lamb, the lamb. And so, we call the lamb of all majesty and all worship broke out. And we as the church, we as the people of God need to break out in worship. Amen. There were three groups that talked about their worship the Lamb. Notice it said, one, the group of four living creatures and the elders who surrounded the throne. Let it be known in chapter four and chapter five is a peek into how heaven looks. And chapter 5, we see the factor that the lamb went and picked up the scroll that showed all of the future destiny. And it broke out. And then another group started praising, which is numberless of millions and millions of hosts of angels. Yeah. Angels like you've never seen before. And then there is the worship of all creatures, both in heaven and in earth, and under the earth, and the trades found no everywhere found in the sea. It was there, and they broke into worship. Yeah. Are you gonna break into worship sometime? Amen. Can I hear with this? Amen. All creation, every being that ever created, broke loose. And start a chorus of praise to the Lord and to the Lamb. God sits in the other part of the throne. I want to know what takes you to praise God. There's a chorus that they start praying all the time. There's take somebody say, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. There's take somebody say, Amen. Y'all say, Amen. No, it should be a thing in one. You should praise God because God is good to you. Amen. You should praise God because the Lamb washed your, washed your wicked sins away. You should praise Him because the Lamb has woke you up this morning and let you see another day Amen. that you may do something for the Lamb. Amen. You should praise God. Not because you've got to be made to praise God. Yeah. You can praise God anytime, yeah. anywhere. And that you need to know. Jesus needs to be worshipped. Yes, amen. Yeah. Amen. No pastor needs to be worshipped. Amen. No officer needs to be worshipped. No member needs to be worshipped. It is Jesus yeah. that needs to be worshipped. Amen. He needs to be worshipped. 
But notice that praise says that you have taken some time out. Right this out of your busy schedule. Understand the devil don't like anybody to praise him, okay? Praise Jesus. They don't like anybody to praise Jesus. And so that's why he gives you all about it. He gives you the whole lot of time to everything else but praise him. Amen. Amen. He gives you, he's going to make sure that you're busy in this, and you're busy in that, and you're busy in this, and you're busy in that. So you won't have time to praise. Uh, I'm going to say something here. Uh, when you wake up this morning, you praise God. When you start brushing your teeth, when you start washing up, when you get to sleep, when you get at night, it's time to, to go to sleep. You, you get some time to say, thank you, Lord. You allow me to come and see another day. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I'm able to go to bed right now. Thank you, Lord. Oh, I look to say, oh, Father. <laughs> you always see. You always see. You already out. It's time, church, that we should praise the Lamb. The Lamb of God. I'm not going to keep reading on, but I want to talk about the fact that some of us need to praise Him while we have a chance. We need to praise Him before we take the bread and the cup. We need to praise Him, and then when He will get our attention, then He will get our devotion, and then He will get our time. Yes. I come to tell you. Every time you come to church, you need to be ready to praise God. Amen. Amen. I don't know think about it. There are some people, I don't say, there's some onlookers. Have y'all ever seen some onlookers in church? Watch this, watch this, watch this. Uh, if, 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 if someone say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, uh, that, that was a weak hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm, I'm just sitting there, I just watch. Someone say hallelujah. Huh. Someone say hallelujah. 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 And sometimes we watch other people before we give to start praising God. Mm. Hallelujah. Or hallelujah means praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah means praise the Lord in Hebrew. Hallelujah means praise the Lord in Greek. Amen. Whoever you, you, you language you need, you need to go and start giving some praise. Yes. Not just from your, it turns out from your mind, but out of your mouth. Mm -hmm. Out of your mouth. Because when you pray for somebody else, you pray for Amen. Amen. When you pray for somebody else, they say, okay. I never get tired of someone jumped up and shouted and said, hallelujah. <laughs> and someone looked at them and said, what's wrong with that person? <laughs> we all supposed to say hallelujah in church. If you don't say hallelujah in church, where else are you going to say hallelujah? Amen. If you don't say hallelujah right here, how you going to say hallelujah out there? If you don't, we say, Lord, I love you. Thank the Lord. Yes. Amen. And give him a hallelujah Amen. while you have time. Amen. Because we go into a place where hallelujah is the common thing. Mm. We're going to hallelujah about you. We're not going to a real soft, nice, you can't call it here, hear a mouse talk. No, you're not going to a place like that. Hmm. We're going to a place where they scream and holler and shout. Amen. And we need to ask ourselves, we need to be in chorus with them while we're down here. Amen. Because Amen. Because Jesus, the Lamb of God, has done great things yes. in our lives. Yes. There was a person. Every time that she didn't come to Bible study, because many times in Bible study, we have different versions and translations. We'll have the New Revised Standard, NIV, and NLT, and all sorts of T's and weeds and whatever. And all the time I knew, and she was saying, where you come out, bro? King Dave version. <laughs> Every time. Every time. 
And she didn't mind how to praise God with song. She wasn't as shouting as some of y'all got to get to it sometime soon. Y'all I'm going to say right now, some of y'all are going to shout. Because the Holy Spirit makes us hit you one time and not be because of pain. Amen. But you're going to shout because there's something inside you saying, Woo! It's time. Why we have time? deal with the Lamb who walks around the churches. We have to deal with the Lamb who says, I'm coming back again. Yes. We got to deal with the Lamb who already done His work and wait for us to do our work. Yes. The Lamb who said, I will take care of your sins by the blood. Amen. 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 I am about to go into this holy communion. I want to give our invitation. Because you know, I may have heard something that said, as a sinner, I need Jesus in my life. Somebody may say it. I may have played church too long. And I want Christ to come out in my life. And I want to do it publicly. If he died for us publicly, we should stand up for him publicly. Amen. Amen. So I open the invitation to everyone. That you will ask yourself. Do I know Jesus right now? don't know Jesus, just admit you're a sinner. Just believe that Jesus Christ died and rose again. And confess the Lord Jesus with your mouth. And say, believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. That's you. If that's you, then raise your hand. There may be somebody who say, I, I want to join church today. I want to do it right today. I don't care who anybody see. I want to come and say, Pastor, I'm going to be a member of Miles Warrior Senior Church today. Is that you going to come? Come. Come. We offer Christ.
Hear our prayer. Let us pray. O oh, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of thy great mercy has promised forgiveness of sins to all them, and with hard repentance and true faith turn to thee, have mercy upon us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and bring us to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Let the church say, Amen. Amen. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all hearts, all desires known, and for whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord and the church say, Amen. Amen. It's very meet, right, and I bound and do that we should at all times and all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God. Therefore, with angels and archangels, with all the company of heaven, we laud and, and magnify thy glorious name. We will pray to thee and say, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord, most high. Amen. We do not presume to come to thy table, mercy, the Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercy. We are not so worthy to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the saint or whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood that our sinful souls and bodies will be clean by his death, and washed in his most precious blood, that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen? Amen. Let us recite the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and give us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power. Thank you. 
Just recently, the students are getting ready for their students program in September. And we had to see if we could get pictures of different students throughout the years, even when we were all cutting in. And we had pictures, and we even had pictures of when we had communion outside, drive-by community, which when COVID was going on, we had people to drive by, get their communion, and drive off. Yeah. Thank you. There have seen times in which we had little bags in which we had the communion in there, which we had to peel off the first top and then peel off the other top. This is the first time since yeah. COVID. Yeah. Yeah. Since COVID yeah. that we have been able to gather as yeah. 
Give God the praise. I want to say thank you to each one of you. I want to thank you. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for keep going.